All right, guys, it's Jeff again with Apex CDL Institute. Uh, we're doing a backing video today to teach you the new range skills that are required by the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration with the new CDL test model. Just like we reshot the pre-trip video, uh, the two things that have changed on the new CDL model is the pre-trip and the range. So now we're going to do a demonstration of the new range skills test. It's, I'm not gonna do, it's not gonna be a training video. We're not gonna teach you how to do it. That's coming later. All I really wanna do now is do a video that explains the actual maneuvers themselves because what's happened is these, uh, this range skills test, and I don't like to call it just a backing video because there's more to it now. The old uh, model used to revolve primarily around your backing skills. Now it's more than just backing, there's also pull-ups. So I don't wanna call it just backing video. It's a range uh, exam. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you the rules to it and how it works so you'll have a clear understanding of it. The skills are actually a little easier. Just understanding how the procedural process of it works is gonna be a little more difficult. And the easiest way to do that is just show it to you in a video. So that's what we're gonna be doing now. We're gonna do it in a step-by-step -step process. So uh, hang in there with us and uh, we'll get this done for you. The first skill that uh, we're gonna be demonstrating for you is what's called a forward stop. And again, remember, as I just said, this isn't just backing. The first skill you're going to do is a pull-up maneuver. And what you're going to be required to do is pull the truck up along this lane right here, okay? And there's a box, a three-foot box at the end down there, and you're going to be required to stop the front bumper of your truck in that box. Now, when you start this maneuver, what will happen is as you start pulling forward, you cannot stop until you believe you have that front bumper inside the box. At any point along this line, if you stop, that's where you're instantly scored at. That's where you're gonna be scored at, and then it will be either be considered that you either stopped within the parameters of the box, or it'll be either that or it'll be scored as a miss. If you stop with your front bumper before you get to the box, or with your front bumper after you've passed the box, it'll be a miss, and a miss is five points. Now, one of the things you have to understand about this test is even though the skills have gotten a little easier, the score is lower to fail. So the previous test, you were allowed to score up to 12 points and anything past 12 points would fail you. So a 13th point would fail you. On this test, you're allowed to score up to eight points. A ninth point will fail you. So they've, they've made the test a little bit easier, but they've made the scoring criteria a little tougher. So it should average out and, and, and it, it actually reflects some of the problems that the trucking industry has had. Many of the accidents that new drivers are getting into are not on their backups, it's on their pull-ups. Because if you're in a good school, one of the things they're gonna teach you is that your trailer does not follow the path of your truck. You've gotta learn how to drive your trailer around obstacles, not just drive your truck around obstacles. So again, what Ricky's gonna do, Ricky's my senior instructor, I've got him up in the truck so I can be out here explaining to you what we're gonna do. He's gonna get the truck fired up and he's gonna pull it forward in a straight line down this lane and if you walk with me over here, you'll see there's a three foot box down here and that's what he has to be able to do. He has to be able to, as he pulls forward, pull forward without stopping until his front bumper is right here within the boundaries of this box. And it's the forward most part of the bumper. Even if nothing but the license plate bracket breaks this line, that's, content, that's considered a passing uh, on that maneuver, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and have Ricky fire the truck up and show you how it's done. All right guys, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have Ricky pull up here. He, remember, he's gotta stop that front bumper in the box. Any stop along the way is out of bounds and it's considered what's called a miss. So he has to stop that once that truck starts rolling, he can't do anything but stop in that box. On this maneuver, there's no get out and looks. There's, you can't reset and back up again. Once he starts that truck rolling, he's got, that's his only opportunity to be uh, complete this maneuver successfully is once that truck starts rolling, stop it in that inside the box. Okay, so let's go. This is going to allow uh, the examiner to determine your ability to gauge the distance between the front of your truck and an object that you would be pulling up to, so that to make sure that you know when to stop so you don't collide with another object. So here he comes, there's no reason to do this fast. You're gonna move along kind of slow. Here he comes. Tires are still rolling, he hasn't stopped yet. 
Still rolling. He hasn't stopped yet. There he goes. Okay, so you'll notice his first place that the tires stopped rolling, front bumper inside the box. That's considered successful. He's passed this maneuver without getting marked for a miss. Now we're gonna go ahead and explain the next maneuver. So now that he's successfully completed that maneuver, the next maneuver is gonna be a straight line back. What we're gonna have Ricky do is he's gonna pull forward from the position that he's in right now. And I'm gonna let him know, I'm gonna send as his examiner, I'm gonna let him know when the rear bumper of the trailer crosses that boundary line right there and his truck is pulled forward in this position. Once I give him the signal to stop, he's gonna stop the truck and then he's gonna begin his straight line back. His straight line back is to be able to perform his maneuver successfully, is to back the truck up in a straight line between these boundary lines on both sides of the truck. Those are 12 feet wide boundary lines and he's gotta successfully maneuver the truck between those boundary lines until his front bumper crosses the far back boundary line marked by those cones back there. And at no point, no part of his truck or trailer can go over any of these lines. And one of the things that's important to remember is it's not just your tires, okay? Don't just look at what your tires are doing. You have to think of these lines as concrete walls coming up out of the ground. If any part of your truck goes over that line, that's considered an encroachment. If you encroach, your examiner is gonna blow the whistle, tell you to stop and have you pull forward, okay, to get out of the encroachment. An encroachment is two points, okay? So remember, you're only allowed to get eight points on, this, on, on the entire test. So those add up really quick. On this maneuver, you're only allowed one free pull-up. Any pull-ups after that cost you one point each. So those start adding up pretty quick too. And on this maneuver, you're allowed one get out and look. You're not allowed to use a second get out and look. So when you do your get out and look to examine where you're at, your examiner is going to tell you that's your last get out and look. You can't do that again, okay? So what we're going to do is have Ricky fire up the truck and explain how that works. Let's go ahead and pull forward. He's going to pull forward, staying between the lines. The examiner is going to watch and give him the hand signal, let him know that the rear uh, bumper of the trailer has crossed this line right here and he successfully pulled out of the box. Okay, now when the student is ready, he can begin his straight line back. So now he's gonna go ahead and begin backing. And again, the goal is to make sure that no part of the truck or the trailer crosses over either side of these boundary lines. When his front bumper clears the back end of the box down here, that's when he's gonna stop the truck. He'll give me the thumbs up to let me know that he's done with the maneuver, set the parking brake and put the truck in neutral. We're gonna walk with them down here to make sure, because what you don't wanna do is stop the truck and leave your front bumper hanging over the line. If you do, that would be considered a miss. You gotta make sure that you clear all 100 feet of this obstacle. All right, the front bumper is out of the box. He's cleared all 100 feet. He's done with the maneuver. He set his parking brake. He's given me the thumbs up to let me know that he's completed the maneuver. And now we're gonna go ahead and explain the next step in the test. So our next maneuver here, um, I have Ricky demonstrate how he's going to be required to pull forward through this lane. And this is kind of like an offset maneuver, but on a pull up instead of a backup. And the idea is that what he's got to do is pull forward in this lane. And you'll notice these lines going back, any of the solid yellow lines are always an encroachment line. You can't cross those. The dotted lines are lines that you're allowed to cross over during the maneuver, but you have to finish within the boundary of those lines. So that's what's going to happen here. Ricky's going to pull forward here and he's going to exit out of the box to the left, driving over this line. Now the idea of this, here's where things get a little tricky, is as he's doing this, 
he's got to keep the passenger side tires close enough to the line that when he comes to the end of the box down here, his passenger side trailer tires, the tandem tires, have to come out like this without running over these cones and but stay within this one yellow line right here. So his trailer tandems have to cross out here and he has to completely clear the box and be completely in line parallel with this box but on the outside of it facing that way and then he'll come to a stop okay but his he can't run that cone over down there as he exits the box he can't run this cone down here as he exits the box and his trailer tandems have to stay close enough that they cross between these two this cone and this line right here So remember, he wants to get his truck clear of that cone, but he also has to get his trailer clear of that cone too. If he started turning out right now, he'd run that cone over. So now he's gonna start turning out. He's keeping an eye on the mirror. And if you come over here and watch, as he comes out, you're gonna see that back trailer tandem, he's keeping it close to that cone without running it over. But he's also keeping it within that line. So you see how that trailer tandem ended up inside that in, in between the cone and that line. So he is now parallel with the box. He successfully pulled out without running over that cone there, without running over that cone there, and keeping his trailer tandem within those two lines. So he successfully, he's put himself in his correct position. He pulled out without any encroachments. Uh, he didn't require any backups, again, which you're not allowed to do. So now his next maneuver is going to be back right back up to where he came from, which is to position his truck within the boundaries of this box here. Now keep in mind, again, like I said, as he backs up, this dotted yellow and white line, he is allowed to run over that as he comes in. He has to, because that's how he's gonna enter the box. But wherever there's solid yellow, uh, yellow lines, he, no part of his truck can encroach over that, okay? Um, that's what he has to be careful of. So as he backs up, he's going to back his truck and trailer into the boundaries of this box he cannot run over those cones down there. He can't go over any of these lines. And as he backs into the box and he comes down to the end, what's going, he has to be able to finish for it not to be considered a miss or marked as a miss. Kind of similar to like he did on his pull-up where he had to stop with his front bumper within the boundaries of this three-foot box. Now on the backup, as he backs in, he has to be able to stop the rear bumper of his trailer within the boundaries of this three foot box while keeping the truck within these lines and without running over any of the lines. Uh, on this maneuver, he's allowed two free pull-ups, okay, and two get out and looks. He cannot use a third get out and look. Any pull-up after those two free ones cost one point each. Any encroachments over these lines cost two point each. So the thing you have to keep in mind is any points that you accumulate at the beginning of the exam on your uh, range skills, those accumulate, they add up. So if let's say you had done your front pull up and you finished uh, with a miss, you missed stopping within the boundaries of the box, that's five points. And those five points follow you to this portion of the test. You would have to be able to successfully maneuver this truck within the boundaries and stop with your rear bumper inside these lines without getting no more than three points. If you got a fourth point, you would fail because that would give you nine points. So keep in mind, um, nine points fails you on this, okay? Uh, just like is with the pre-trip also, uh, any safety violation can fail you as well. So you gotta be careful of those as well. Things like getting out of the truck without setting the parking brake, getting out of the truck and leaving it in gear. You'd be surprised, we've had people do that. That would be an automatic failure because that's completely unsafe. So you've gotta be careful of that. So we're gonna, 
We're gonna get Ricky to fire the truck up and demonstrate this maneuver for you. This is the last step in your CDL uh, range skills test. So if he successfully completes this right now, he has no points. Uh, he shouldn't have any points. He's a senior examiner and a very experienced truck driver, but he's going to negotiate that truck into this box and stop with his rear uh, trailer bumper within the boundaries of these box. All right, one other thing I want to explain real quick on this maneuver because it's very tight quarters, very close quarters maneuvering. You've got to be careful with your encroachments. Obviously, you want to be careful not to encroach at all, but if you do, what can happen is you've got to be careful. The way they score this, you can have at any given angle, because of the way the truck will maneuver, you can have one part of the truck go out over the line on the passenger side, the back end of the trailer go out over the line on the driver's side, and that's considered two encroachments. Now, if you push the back corner of the truck and the trailer out with the way the state of Kansas scores it, that's two encroachments on one side of the truck. And then the third would be the trailer going out on the other side. So you could get three encroachments. That's six points right there just because you're not watching what's going on. So one of the things that you wanna be cognizant of is as you're backing into those really tight quarters, save your get out and looks for when things get really pinched in there and you're in really tight quarters. Set your parking brake, put the vehicle in neutral and get out to do a get out and look to observe what's going on from the outside. Cause you gotta remember when your trailer and your truck are bent as you exit into it, the passenger side of that trailer, you're not gonna be able to see what's going on over there because you're your mirror on the opposite side is going to be empty. It's going to be looking out into empty space. It's not going to be to see, be able to see the trailer because you're bent. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get Ricky to fire the truck up, and he's going to demonstrate how this is done. So the first thing he has to do is remember he's on the outside of this box now. He has to go ahead and turn his trailer and face it back towards the box. Okay, so if you watch the back end of that trailer, you can see it's starting to move back towards the box now. Now he's gonna stop the truck and he's gonna bring the front end of the truck back around in front of the trailer to get that trailer aimed into the box. I can see from this side here, he's clearing that cone down at the end, so I know he's looking good. We'll come over here and check this side. He's gotta make sure he misses these cones here. They're an obstacle as well. And now he's going over that dotted yellow line, which he's allowed to, but we gotta make sure that he doesn't run over that outside yellow line. All right, he's got the back of the truck going in. Now he's going to cut the front of that truck in now, making sure he doesn't run over these cones. All right, he's lined up in the box. He hasn't run over any of the lines, no encroachments. Now he's going to begin his backup and we're going to come down here and watch him put that, tra that trailer bumper in the box. He's gonna to wanna to go ahead and stop a little short so he can stop the truck, set his parking brake, put it in neutral and do a get out and look. Cause remember on this maneuver, you're allowed two get out and looks. There's no point in wasting an encroachment if you can just do a get out and look and see where you're at. So let's come on down here. We'll see where he's at. Another six inches. So if you look here, he's just got a little bit to go. So now he knows cause he's took his time to do his get out and look. And now he knows he just needs to back up a little bit more, stop that bumper inside the box and he'd be done with this maneuver. So he's gonna go ahead and back up now, finish this properly. There he goes. He's now inside the box. He's in the boundaries of the box. 
He's on this side of it and he hasn't gone out the back. He set his parking brake. He just gave me the thumbs up. He's done with this maneuver. All right, guys, that's it. As you can see, the test is a lot easier than it used to be. There's not as many different maneuvers you have to do. Uh, the understanding of the requirements on how it's done, like the rules to the test, um, that's a little harder to understand. That's why we thought it would be important to do this video up front. Uh, we're not teaching, like I said, in this video, I'm not teaching you how to do it. Those videos are coming later. We're gonna show you how we teach our students how to do it, to understand where to position a truck. Ricky makes it look real simple. He's been driving for over 20 years. He's been an instructor and an examiner with me now for uh, about six, seven years. So um, he's really good at this. He makes it look easy. And it is with proper uh, training and, and fundamentals of understanding how to maneuver a truck and a trailer around. Uh, so we just wanted to give you a clear understanding of how it works. If you have any questions, again, we're making this for our students, but anybody around the country that's in a state that's using the new CDL test model, if you wanna use our videos, you wanna help train your students with it, if you're a state employee or something, you're more than welcome to use it. Again, all we ask is that you make sure that you use it, uh, you view them and, and show them to people off of our YouTube channel so we get at least a little credit for it. Um, but if you have any questions, give us a call, 913-585-1120. Uh, you can check us out on Facebook. Check us out on our uh, website, www.apexcdl.com. And uh, as always, we appreciate you tuning in and uh, be safe out there.